Hi there. Now for this question then, we had to show that this equation reduced down to tan x equaling this exact value, 3 root 3 minus 4. Now this is quite a common type of question, so it's important that you're familiar with the methods. Just to take you through this, just in case there were any uh, problems, all we do is we expand each of these brackets. You should be familiar with the expansion of the cosine of a plus b, which you'll normally find in any formula book, a being x in this example and b being the 30 degrees. The expansion of cosine a plus b is cosine a cosine b minus sine a sine b. So I've just replaced a and b with the x and the 30 degrees, okay? Similarly, here we've got the expansion of what we would often term sine of a minus b, which is the sine of a cosine of b minus cosine of a sine b, a being the x, b being the 30. And then what I've done is I've just substituted the exact values for the cosine of 30, sine of 30, and we should know them from using this triangle. OK, so substitute those values in there. And then what I've decided to do next is to get rid of the fractions. I notice that these two twos cancel out and that would just leave us with root 3 cos x minus sine x. But then I've gone on to multiply throughout by another two. So we end up with this line here and then to get tan of x, all I've done is divide through by cosine of x to each term. Remember sine x over cosine x gives us tan x. So you get the tan x in this term and the tan x when you divide this term by cos x. Okay. Now next I just bring the tan x terms to the same side. I add the two tan x to both sides and I also add 1 to both sides. So that gives me this equation and then I can factorize by putting tan x out as a common factor and then just divide by 2 plus root 3. Next I need to rationalize the denominator here so multiply top and bottom then by 2 minus root 3. Just expand out the top, expand out the bottom and that will take you in to what we require 3 root 3 minus 4. Okay.